Because at first I was like, it's okay. You know, it's just really good. Not better than the first one. Then I went back. I spin the block. And I was like, damn. This might be a top three animated movie of all time. Mm. That's how good it was. Every time I think about it, every time I listen to that album from Metro Boomin, it makes me reminisce about just the greatness of that movie. What is good, YouTube? This is your boy, Aaron. Brian. And this is Courtside Views Beyond Sports. And we are back today and we are talking about Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. <sighs> Gotta take a moment and appreciate what we just watched. I watched it twice. The first one, I watched it premiere day, Thursday. Wasn't a great experience. I'm not going to lie. I could barely hear what the characters were saying. So I had to go back. I had to run it back. And the second time, I'm not going to lie, changed my whole perspective on the entire movie. Because at first I was like, it's okay. You know, it's just really good. Not better than the first one. Then I went back. I spin the block. And I was like, damn, this might be a top three animated movie of all time. Mm. That's how good it was. Every time I think about it, every time I listen to that album from Metro Boomin, it makes me reminisce about just the greatness of that movie. I damn near teared up. I almost cried because it was such cinema. What was your reaction to the movie? Uh, I thought the movie was great. You know, it's I don't know about what you got going on. I, maybe I need to go see the second time to get that that mm -hmm. feel. But yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie a lot. You know, even with the foolishness that went down in our theater opening day. But I liked the movie. I thought it was. The story was well put together. The characters were great. The, the the action scenes were well done. And the fact that they were able to incorporate so many spider people without it being played out or corny or nothing. Like that's that's that was pretty impressive. So yeah, I I, I the movie it, I don't even want to call it just a movie. It's more than just a it's the an film. Experience. It's a film. The film was the story beats was hidden, you know, the conflict between the Spider Man, then you got the people in you know, respective universes conflict, and then they bring about ball back some old faces from the last movie towards the end. Uh the spot is a better villain than I thought he was gonna be. Mm -hmm. And at the end, let me tell you the final act of that movie. Mmm. It's phenomenal. Yes. Yes. The final act of that movie is elite. Like I was locked in. I didn't want the movie to end. But I was like, no, I was like, I was like, no, I was like, is it it's coming to an end? I was like, no. Mm -hmm. That like, that final act of that movie is it, it was like so intense. Like even when they t the regular dialogue, you just felt something wasn't right. Like it, it was it was good, man. It was good. I, I loved the movie. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm going to do it my own thing. <clears throat> he said that. I'm, I wanted to stand up. Oh, man, that was such a great bar. That was just a great line. And then just the elect Then afterwards, he the electricity with his hands and mm. then Michael O'Hara. Oh, my gosh, dude. Miguel O'Hara. <sighs> well, let me, let, let me say this. So the movie theater, me and him went to. Dolby, Dolby uh, Cinema, AMC, right? And we went there, could barely hear the voices of the characters. And that was for a lot of people. They were dealing with that in other the th theaters as well. And so I would say during the halfway mark, the sound went out. I was like, what? You can't make this shit up. So that just ruined my experience. And so I was getting spoiled, couldn't hear the sound. And I saw like, Oh, this was like the best part of the film when it got to uh, when Miles and Gwen and them went to the whole um, what was it the uh, that whole um, where all the Spider Man meet mm -hmm. up and everything and I'm like oh my god bro the the whole sound had to stop at that part 
That's the best part. Yeah. <sighs> but I got my money back. They got the sound back. They rewind it 20 minutes before that happened. And I was like, okay, that's cool and everything. Still, the sound was not good at all. And, but I did, again, I watched it again at a different theater. And the sound was still a bit of a problem. But I still enjoyed it. Way better experience than the first time. And Miguel, his character, I love this character. He was like an antagonist. I wouldn't call him a villain. Obviously not a mm-hmm. villain, but he's an antagonist. And just, it made sense. I felt like this. I felt like this movie, from a story perspective, was better than the first one, for the simple fact that it was a lot more grandiose, a lot more stakes. Mm-hmm. I thought that Miles' character they did a better job, sort of um, fleshing his character and also his parents as well. Yeah. And Gwen. Yeah. So I felt like the first movie they didn't go too deep into these characters and their backstories. I felt like Uncle Aaron. They sort of explored him a little bit, but they could have done a lot more with that relationship with Miles. And I felt like he got killed off too early in the film. I know Mm -hmm. it was around the end. Maybe it's because it was an hour and 50 minute film. So that extra like 30 minutes go from one hour and 50 to two hours and 20. That really helped sort of the film and everything like that. I think that was one of the criticisms I had with um, the first one is because Uncle Aaron's character is sort of not getting explored more. And they're in Miles and his relationship, and then also um, just not really going too deep in um, the other characters as well, besides Miles and stuff. So this movie did a really great job in sort of exploring some of the you know important characters, and I think the fight sequences were better as well. Yeah, I will say the animation in the first one was just as good, but I think the choreography, the um, the fight sequences were better, and the the art was better in my opinion. I think it was a lot more creativity with the art. I think they really expanded on it. And I think one of the reasons is because the first movie did so well. So they're like, okay, we're gonna and then they had four years. Yeah. So they're like, okay, we're gonna let's let's try to up it up. Let's try to do a better job than we did the first movie. And they did a really good job. The music, oh my God, the music. Let me tell you something. Ten times better than the first movie. Way better than the first movie. Metro Boomin slapped. He killed it. Every single song was important. The way they implemented it was fantastic. And it was just a vibe. Like the second movie, the second time I watched it, I was really like paying attention, obviously, to the story, but also to the music choice. Mm. And they did a really good job in incorporating the, the music in, in certain scenes. And then also, like, not even just, like, the Metro Boomin music, but also they have the other type of music, the background yeah. music and everything was also great. I just wish that we could hear the the voices of the characters a lot better. That was my biggest criticism in the movie, and that's why I can't give this movie a perfect 10. Or maybe I would, if if the voice acting and everything was great, if I could hear the voices a lot better, then I'd probably give this movie a 9.5. So I would dock it. I'll probably give it like a uh, probably give it nine point three. I don't do points in my rate. I just say nine to it, it don't matter. All right, I'll give I'll give it a I think the first movie's a nine. Yeah, I think they're both nines. Ah oh, man. I, um, but I'm docking it points because of the audio. Mm. That that gives me so I'll probably give it a nine point three because of the audio. It was so great that I'm not going to dock it too much. So I'll give it a 9.3. That's why I have that weird sort of. Okay. Yeah, sort of rating. So you give it a. A 9. A 9. That's fair. Two movies in the same year got a 9 from me. I can't believe it. Do you think that the criticism of the ending was valid? What criticism? The cliffhanger. People are upset about that? Yes. That's why they let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'd rather them leave us on a cliffhanger to properly wrap up the rest, all the plot lines of the rest of the movie, than them to make maybe push thirty to twenty more minutes of the film and just have everything wrapped up. Like no, that's that's not going to give it justice. Mm. I think it was a good cliffhanger. Yeah, it's I a know. very good cliffhanger. I think people are reaching. It's definitely a reach. Uh, the first movie, yes, I get it. You know, you want to be satisfied more, but at the end of the day. 
I thought that the way that they left it off was pretty well gets you excited. It's not like we're going to be left off and we have to wait four more years, four right. and a half more years. Like, no, it's coming out next, next year. year. So Not I'm even not a full a, year. Like, bro, March. Yeah, March. So what's wrong with having a cliffhanger? <laughs> it's coming out next March. What, what's the problem? If they would have did this for the first See, movie. this is how you know they're not anime fans. We go through this all the time. Bro, come on, man. If they did this for um the first movie and then we had to wait four and a half years. Yeah, that, that would have been valid. crazy. Criticism would have been definitely valid. But this circumstance, I'm not mad at it. I'm fine with it. I mean, Avengers Infinity War had a cliffhanger. Nobody was mad at it. I don't, I don't understand criticism with them. It's just reach. Yeah. Finding something to criticize. Everybody wants to be a cinephile, but they not. You like, can't you can't critique stuff like that. Yeah, they they because they they trying to. It's the inst- it's the instant gratification era. That's what it is. Everybody just wants stuff right now. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let it marinate. Let it build up. Let it sit. You know, let things. Come on, let man. The build. Yes, yes. They, they, they people reaching because uh. There's some people, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people say, oh, my God, it's a top three anime movie ever. Listen. <sighs> Give me your favorite five animated films. Incredibles, Shrek 2, Toy Story 2. Mm-hmm. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo? Yeah. Mm, over Lion King? Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of Lion King <laughs> as a kid. What? And um, I don't know. I, I could put the new. I have to see it again in order to put it at five. Mm, no monsters incorporated. Oh yeah, monsters Inc. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hmm. No Jujutsu Kaisen. That's anime. You can't really. Do uh, it. I mean, it really kind of is. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. We'll keep it American. We'll keep it Western. We'll keep it Western because it'll complicate things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Is Spider Man a top? Is it in my top five? Yes. It could replace Western, yeah. Western, like yes, absolutely. Do I think it's the top five animated film ever when it comes to just the West? That's tough because you got iconic anime films like. You can go Snow White, Cinderella. I'm not. I'm not putting that on there. But I'm just saying those are those are iconic sort of animated films, or uh, Lion King, Lion King. Uh, Little Mermaid, uh, Toy Story, that franchise, uh, Monsters Inc., Shrek, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I like Kung Fu Puss Panda. And, Puss in Boots and the Last was the Last Wish or something. Yeah, I need to watch. Everyone. I says need. That I need to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to watch that. Yeah, but there's. It could definitely be up there. I don't know, man. I've seen all those movies except like Puss in Boots. I've seen all the Shrek movies. Hilarious. The first one and the second one were absolutely Shrek fire. Elite. Yes, that was elite. I agree. Uh, I've seen practically all of the Pixar movies uh, except like maybe the recent ones. But I've seen all the ones that came out probably up to like, what's 2010 maybe? That's a long 2011. I, I have seen some. I've seen... uh. Movie came out in like twenty twenty, I think it was. Um, Soul. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, I saw. I saw that one. Uh, but yeah, besides that, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Pixar movies as of lately. You know, I I think the last one that I've probably seen besides Soul is maybe Up. Really? Yeah, I, was, I forget. I forget so when. Ago. I forget when. You ain't seen Toy up. Story four? Oh, I haven't seen four. Damn. I've seen three. I think three came out after Up. Oh, then probably Toy Story three. Yeah. yeah, that's probably the last one. I remember I went to the movie theater and saw it. Yeah, yeah I saw that one. But that that was the last one. Incredibles two either. Oh, oh, I forgot. Incredibles two. I did go to the movie theater and see that. Yes, that was the last one. Okay. No, no, no. Soul was the last one. Okay. But before that, it was Incredibles two. And before that, that was probably Toy Story three. So yeah, okay. I have seen some, but I haven't seen them consistently. Have you? So if if they end this trilogy off the right way and it's still the quality still is good if it's good or if not better than the would it be the best superhero trilogy of all time? Damn. Cause me it would be an easy yes. Damn. Like I love the Tom Holland movies, but 
Oh yeah, this clears. Yeah, this clears. And I love the Batman trilogy, but ooh, this yeah, is better. That's, yeah, this clears. This clears. Uh, the way that they implement the multiverse in this, adding the the Spider Verse into it, and also the whole thing with Peter Parker and him dying, and then Peter B. Parker he comes through out of nowhere and dealing with his trauma and everything, and then Miles Morales trying to figure out how to become Spider Man and everything like that, and then it's like a movie he finally be able to use his powers be invisible electricity and then we find out that oh he's um the spider came from a different universe that bit him so that wasn't supposed to happen right. and so all that stuff all that complicates a lot of things and it just makes the whole plot of the story and very interesting and how is it going to end oh man then, then something happened in the Miles Morales comics I don't know if you heard Miles Morales mother Oh, I'm, she, I'm, she. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't. I don't it has it been going all based off the comics this far? Uh, I don't, think I don't so. know. I don't. I don't think so. But there's a possibility with the way that you know how Spider-Man movies are. Somebody got to die. True. Somebody important has to die. So you with Spider-Man. So you, you, it's always spoiled. It's been a week. It's nearly a week since the movie. Probably gonna be a week by the time this come out. You should have saw the movie if yes, you wanted. Yes. Yeah. You're crazy. So, so anywho, so you think instead of. The dad dying is going to be the mom that it could dies. could be. I don't know if there's a single story in the mouths where the mom she doesn't. Does. Oh, oh, she does oh, die. But the dad survives. Um, or did both of them I don't die? know. That, that's that's one of those where I can't necessarily say. But okay. I know in the comics recently, I don't know how many years. Maybe it was like not too long ago. But mom, oh, stray bullet. Oh. Yeah, I think I think that he was fighting. Was it Venom? Mm -hmm. Cops were shooting Venom or something and. She was like right there. Oh wow! And bullet, yeah, she came out of nowhere, crossfire. So I don't know if that's gonna happen to her. It could, or the dad could die again, or it could be the dad. Because in the video game, the dad dies. Yeah. So are they gonna do what they did in the video game, where the dad dies? The other universe, the dad dies. Yeah, exactly. So, man, I don't know, bro. It's gonna be good. I like. I, I just love like the whole thing about. Miles, he's not going to let anybody control his own destiny. He's going to create his own destiny, not somebody else. And that's sort of the whole, I guess you could say, theme of the movie is where Miguel, he's like, this is how it's supposed to happen, and you can't do anything about it. And Miles is like, no, that's messed up. I'm not going to let an algorithm define my own destiny and so I, I like i like the whole sort of theme of the story it's like no i'm gonna control my own destiny so yeah overall 9.3 i can't wait for the next film <sighs> predictions for the next film besides what we talked about who's gonna die like the prediction um i think that This may sound crazy, but hey, let me cook, let me cook. So, we know from the comics that one of the main villains of Miles is the Prowler. Yes. Here's my theory. I think they rescue him from Earth-42, but also the Prowler gets gets goes with them. Mm. I don't know if he somehow sneaks his way, and but then I think that Miles will be, it'll be two Mouses in the same universe. And that oh, and that mouse will be the main mouse's enemy mm. for going in the if they decide to make any more films. I I doubt. Or you know. Whatever. Do you think that because at the end of the movie, right, it, it showed that Miles he he had his powers, whatever he was about to escape. It looks like he's about to escape from being uh, chained up and everything. Do you think that the Prowler version of Miles is going to sort of put on a front? He's going to take on his identity as the Spider-Man. Could that be a plot that they could use, right? Because that'd be, that'd, be that'd be interesting. But then again... I don't think it would work. I don't know if it if it works. Like I don't know if that's a good idea because Spider-Man is one of the smartest superheroes in the universe. But then again, the Prowler, if they write him good, he could... 
manipulate his way. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If you can figure out a way to portray yourself close to whoever it is you're trying to portray, I mean, I guess there's chances you could fool some people. So I wonder how that's going to go. Hmm. The the whole the uh, Gwen her character and then sort of getting the band back together with the other spiders. Hmm. I wonder exactly. I think a spider person is gonna croak. Gonna snitch. No, I'm gonna die. Oh, gonna die. Oh, hey, hey. how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up yeah. 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 You, you still you still yeah. doing the um social media thing or that's yeah, done? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm still doing it. Still oh, doing what what days are you doing it? Um, so I'm doing them on Sunday. So the next one will be I'm going to Africa next week. Oh, so it'll okay. After, uh, it'll be after that. Okay. So, yeah, let me know. I might I might want to go in. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, let's get back to it. Yeah. Like I said, I think one of the spider people was going to end up dying. I don't know who, though. Peter B. Parker? No, no. Gwen? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think she's going to die. That would be it, weird. It could be. That would be kind of, I don't know. That's that's very unexpected. Maybe he has to, maybe he, I don't know. Maybe Miguel? True. Because where, where did, yeah, it could be. Cause yeah. Like, we don't even know if he's really like active in his universe like that. For real. I mean, it seems like he's been sort of. He said he's been trying to keep it together with the multiverses. So, at the end of the first movie, it showed him uh, like starting to like get the watch, whatever, where he can cross between dimensions and everything like that. And I think he. Yeah, he did do. He crossed between one dimension, but yeah, um, man, this is a lie. I don't know. I don't know. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. Somebody's gonna die. Yeah. Somebody's gonna die. It could be Miles' mother. It could be his father. It could be Miguel. It could be Gwen. It could be Peter B. Parker. Somebody's gonna die. It's obviously not gonna be Miles. But yeah, that whole that whole plot line with the with the spider from Earth forty two. That's that's crazy. That's that's an interesting plot line. Cause I was thinking there was a um. But did they explain exactly how the spider got there? Um, I think it was. Remember the first movie? Something happened where I think um it was Kingpin. They turned on the machine, and how Peter B. How Gwen and them got there. The spider was able to get there as well because they turned on the machine and was and they were able to come to Miles' universe and everything. I think that's how it, how it happened. And um, yeah, well, I don't know. I wonder will Miles will he eventually have to um, give up his powers in any way because it's from a different universe? I don't know. I I doubt it. But that could be a possibility as well. We'll have to see. It's coming out next March. Anybody that says this movie isn't greatness, you're just hating. They just want to be known. They want to be loud. That's just what it is. Because this movie is at least a 9. Yeah. I don't know how you could rate it 8.5. Some people, tough critics, I don't know. What did they see? Maybe, they, maybe the audio messed them up enough to I, where they say, but yeah. I get it, but I'm not going to dock it too much because of the audio. Now, if like the music was just annoying and the background sound was just unbearable and the animation was just awful, like, okay. But the only problem was I couldn't hear the characters as much as I want to. That's the only probably flaw I could really think of. I will say sort of close this video um it was a bit lengthy at first like i would say at the beginning it was like gwen i had no problem with and then we got the miles and i was like damn when are we gonna get to the to the yeah, real action yeah, i was kind of like i was like okay i like exposition and whatnot like, but hmm, well, when are we gonna get I to the action the movie was gonna start off like the last movie the last movie it was like instant action 
it felt longer like the pacing felt a lot longer than what i would expect from this movie so i would say that's probably another flaw but overall that's just a little nitpicking that that's why i give it a 9.3 back to what i was saying is this a top five animated film ever I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. You know. I don't. I don't give a damn what people say. I would have to say. I know I'm prisoner of the moment. I mean, a lot of people. I would have to say opinion, yes. Though. I would have to say yes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see. I want to see it again before I say definitively. Well, I saw. I saw it twice. I. I would have to say yes because the art, animation, something I've never seen before, unique story, really good, fantastic. They improved from the last movie. I don't give a damn what people say about the cliffhanger. It was a good cliffhanger. The music was was fire. It was it was just fire. Like you can't say anything else about the music. I mean if that's not your preference then okay, but in my opinion the music was fire. I think it's a I think it's the top five anime movie. I probably put it with Lion King, uh, um um of the movies Incredibles Incredibles 2 uh, you think Incredibles 2 was that good yeah what, what you didn't like Incredibles 2 it ain't hit like the first one really it didn't, it didn't hit. that song was fire I mean it was good but it's, the first one is just different okay alright I think it's cause of the villain in the, the villain one, right? that's true that Senor, is true like yeah stuff. yeah um, and then you had um, yeah there's some Sh- other movies Shrek yeah Sh- oh, Shrek Shrek yes yeah, Shrek Shrek I will put it top five. I think it's better than all those movies. I'm not going to be one of those guys that nostalgia takes over everything. I'm going to be completely honest because I've seen all those movies so many times over the year. True. I like this movie better than all of them. I really do. I like this better than Lion King, Little Mermaid, Finding Nemo, Lion King 2, Shrek 2, Shrek 3, Shrek 1. Well, I take that back. Shrek, Shrek was funny as hell. I might have to take back what I said. I like this better than Kung Fu Panda, Puss in Boots, all those movies. I like, I think this top five. I'm sorry. Like, if you disagree, that's cool. But if I'm rating a movie 9.3, True. I mean, how many good animated movies are 9.3? That's pretty, Not many. that's pretty hard to do. So, yeah, um, is there anything else you want to say before we close it out? Cause you know how they you, you saw it on Twitter they had the the Miles mask buckets of popcorn. How come we ain't got it? They ain't have it at the one in the Hoffman. Oh, did they it? didn't. I don't think so. Oh. I ain't seen nobody with that. Oh, that's why the kid. That's why the kid um didn't want the popcorn anymore. Oh. So that's you know I got that free uh large yeah. popcorn because I was um behind this guy who um he had this kid with him. I think he was probably the grand his grandfather or whatever. And the kid wanted the whole the little oh. Spider Man bucket. And I guess they didn't have it. So he was like, Man, I don't want the popcorn anymore. And I was like, Okay, I'll take it. Got lucky. Yeah. So wow. Yeah, that's probably that, My, that, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, I was like, Man, if I if they had the bucket like that with the helmet and all, I would have got that too. Yeah, that's that's tough. At least, at least you got, got the a poster. poster. Yeah. yeah. You got the poster at the end? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. That poster was fire. Yeah. Uh, I already hung it up. I need, I need to frame it though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I might wait to put it up until the next one. Cause mm. The only thing, like framing, ah, so bad because they be overcharging for these frames. Be pissing me off, but I, I, um, I put it on the wall. You, if you guys watch the stream, you can see it's in the background. So check that out. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. We will be reacting to more movies. In the future, maybe The Flash. We'll have to see. If it's good. Yeah, if it's good. Thank you guys for watching this video. And we'll see you guys later. Peace. Uh, look, cold world. Still a cold world. And a couple of y'all is cool, but we a little more thorough. <laughs> Whole time, a little more girls. You know I spent that shit and it's still no cure.